this is question number 17 out of the textbook on, in section 4.5, and we have to um, come up with an equation of this transform log function. Well, one thing I'm noticing about this log function is that it's been reflected around the y-axis, so, and then, then it must have been shifted, and then <clears throat> it's probably some kind of scale fa or a stretch or shrink factor going on. It would have been due. So let's, let's uh, play around with this and see what we can do. Well, I know ln x looks like that. And I know that this function has been reflected around the y-axis, so I'm going to stick a negative in front, so that works. But then if you go back to that function, the graph, it looks like it's, it's no longer, it's not doing what the graph is. It's, it doesn't have um, the equation x equals 0 as a vertical asymptote, as this graph does. The This has x equals 1 is a, a vertical asymptote, so it has to be shifted to the right. And I know typically when I graph the functions that have shifted to the right, I, I just say minus, minus 1 or whatever, you know, right here. So what I'm going to do, just so that's consistent with what we've been doing, is stick the x minus 1 in parentheses. That way I see it's shifted to the right one. It's been reflected around the y-axis. So everything's good except it's not going through the point 1, 1. A negative one one, so it must be some kind of stretch factor going on. So I'm going to take that equation that I have that I just that I, we just decided on. So y equals what was it? It was uh, so it's some stretch factor going on. We decided a times ln of negative x minus one, and then since it goes through this point negative one one. I'm going to replace y with the 1. Remember, it's negative 1, 1 for the point. I'm going to replace y with 1. And I'm going to replace the x with the negative 1. So that gives me the ln of, well, let's see, that's negative 2. And another negative makes it positive 2. So if I divide both sides by the ln of 2, that's probably my stretch factor. Let's go back and see if that graphs. I don't think I need to put parentheses here. So does that go through the point uh, negative 1, 1? It sure does. So that's the equation of this transformed function. What's probably been giving you a hard time is finding that stretch factor. Okay, so I hope that helps.